This is my second attempt at filming this video because in the first attempt my camera died and my SD card ran out of storage. Hey guys, it's Mara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. So like I said in the last video, I'm going to be making a few more school related videos since school is literally less than a week away for me. That's just so weird to think about, like summer went by so fast. But anyway, since school is starting soon, I decided to go on a little shopping trip and get my stuff ready for this school year. But before I get started with this video, I have three disclaimers. So the first one is that we don't get our schedules until the first day of school, which means we don't know our teachers and what they want material-wise. So I didn't get binders or folders or anything like that. I just got stuff I knew I needed for myself and that I was going to use for sure. So yeah, number two is that Basically, before every school year leading up to this, I got, like, I just completely restocked in everything school supplies related, I guess. So I would get new scissors, new paper, new all of this, and I, over the years, have accumulated a lot of extra stuff because, as you guys know, like, you don't always use everything you get at the beginning of the year. So I just have stacks and stacks of papers of just like notebook paper that hasn't even been opened so I didn't get notebook paper obviously so like there's some things I didn't get that you usually use but yeah I didn't get that and my third disclaimer is I don't know how haul videos work I think this is a haul video I don't know so if, if I'm not doing it how people usually do it oh well the first place I shopped was Target as any white girl who lives in the United States does before for back to school shopping and the first thing I got at Target was a new gray and white lunchbox I'm not even turning the right way so this is what it looks like it's very nice I did need a new lunchbox because my other one was really disgusting and I don't eat school lunches because I'm not disgusting and next purchase was this gray and white striped pencil pouch. Uh, I guess it matches my lunchbox, I just realized that. Um, so this is going to hold my markers, my scissors, my tape, anything that I don't use on a day-to-day class-to-class basis. I have another pencil pouch that I actually used last year and I'm going to reuse it this year. That's the one I'm going to put like my pens, my pencils, things I actually need every day for every class. So this is just going to hold my markers and stuff. The next thing I got were these two erasers. I make a lot of mistakes so I need erasers and these were only like two dollars. Um, there were other erasers that were like three or four dollars and I think, I don't know, I just think that's so weird. Like why would you, why would anyone pay for erasers that are four dollars when there are cheaper ones right next to them? Because like I don't, like how, how, how much nicer can an eraser actually be? Like I don't, I genuinely like just don't understand that anyway moving on so my next item are these um, <laughs> paper mate mechanical black 07 lead pencils so these are the nice pencils these are the pencils everyone loves and I know these three are probably gonna get stolen like within the first month of school or something or I'll, I'll probably lose them or break them or something I don't know but I decided to treat myself this year since I haven't gotten these pencils in a few years. So I decided to treat myself. And I do have like a bunch of mechanical pencils left over from last year. Like back to school shopping last year, I got this huge pack of like 50 or 60 of those really cheap mechanical pencils, which actually work really well. So once these run out, I have those. <laughs> the next thing I got at Target were these flare pens. And I've been using flare pens since like sixth or seventh grade. Flare pens are so nice and they help me color code all my classes like I've had the same color code for my classes since like fourth grade for like core academic classes um, so writing in my agenda it really helps to have color coded stuff so I know what's for what class which is very convenient and also flare pens are just really really nice and they don't smudge which is really convenient because I'm left-handed so smudging is a really big issue then I got some highlighters so 
I use highlighters obviously for like normal reasons and also to highlight test dates and stuff like that in my agenda and also there's always that one teacher every year who's like you need highlighters of three different colors like even though you only use it for one assignment like the whole year but I decided to go ahead and get those highlighters just to be safe. My next purchase was Whiteout. So Whiteout is something that is very underrated. Whiteout is so good. As I said earlier, I write a lot with flare pens and I obviously make a lot of mistakes. So Whiteout is super helpful. Also, not a lot of people carry Whiteout. So everyone's always like asking for Whiteout and it, it's annoying. For, okay, to me, like just a pet peeve is when people don't have the things they need. So like they always ask other people for it. So I have my own highlighter because I'm independent and I don't need anyone else. And I also hate marking out my stuff. I just don't like scratching things out. I just want to completely start over. <laughs> and my last purchase at Target were twistable colored pencils. So after years of trial and error, I've decided that these are the best colored pencils. Um, the biggest reason was last year, I just had like really crappy school supplies. Like I got this pencil pouch for like $1 at Target and it was the worst thing I've ever had to purchase. It broke within the first week, but I used it the whole school year, which was a bad idea. And also, I had regular colored pencils, which just broke and wrote and just got everywhere. And I, which, and I had colored pencils, which means I also got a personal hand sharpener, and that also broke in the middle of the year. So I had pencil shavings literally everywhere, which was so annoying. So I made it a goal to not have a pencil sharpener with me this year, and the twistable ones seemed like the best option for that to happen. So that concludes all the actual school supplies I got. The rest of the video is going to be a little clothing haul, if you will. This was also a very low-key shopping spree. Like, I did not get as many things as, like, someone who would actually make a, um, a haul video would. So the next store I went to was Rack Room Shoes. <laughs> if you know me or if you have seen me at school, you know that my shoe game is trash. I always wear these ratchet, ratchet tennis shoes that are dirty or nasty. And I also wear Converse. Converse are fine. I like Converse, but I didn't get any new ones because my one, my ones that I have now are like fine. And I also wear really, really ugly slides. Like I don't care. I'm just like, I'm aware of how cringy and ugly they are. So I decided to up my shoe game this school year. So the first pair of shoes I got were these all black Nike tennis shoes. And these are so dope. Like they look so, so cool. I've seen people wearing these and I've just been so jealous and I wanted them so bad. So I finally got me a pair. I'm finally hopping onto the bandwagon with these next ones. And I got the Adidas tennis shoes. I don't even know like if, I don't know if there's like specific names for like brand shoes. I don't know. But I got these stereotypical Adidas shoes and they are actually so comfy and I've tried them on with like multiple different outfits and they match with everything. And my last purchase at Rack Room Shoes and probably my favorite are I finally got, I finally hopped onto the bandwagon and I got these off-brand Birkenstocks. Um, I I still, like these these shoes are so ugly. Like they really are and I didn't understand why people got them until I put them on. Like these shoes are so comfy and they've got such good arch support and I am in love with these shoes. Like I don't know, I just think the color is kind of nasty <laughs> but like they, they again like they match every single outfit ever pretty much and you can wear them, you can dress them up, you can dress them down like the, the, the limit is endless. Like there's, there's no limit to like how you can wear these shoes so. As someone who dresses not nice to school pretty much ever, these are a good purchase. <laughs> so the next store I went to was Macy's. I only got two shirts at Macy's, but they're really cute. They're also really expensive. They're like two shirts. One is like a t-shirt and they cost it together like 84 bucks. That to me just blows my mind, but like whatever. So this first shirt I got, I think is super, super cute. And it's this t-shirt and it has lemons on it. And it says slice of life. That's what this says right here. It says slice of life. And it's this wide, like it it almost looks like a crop top, but like I tried it on with jeans and like it's not it's not a crop top, <laughs> but it, it looks like it. But it is I don't know how to do this. 
it is super nice and I'm in love with this shirt. I'm probably it's probably gonna be my first day of school look. Just foreshadowing for the next video. Just saying. The other shirt I got at Macy's is this blue. It's really nice actually. It's this blue, like long, elegant shirt. I, I've, I've actually already worn this. So it's really it's really light and really comfy, really soft, and it's also really cute, which is something that does not always go together. Comfy and cute. And this is like fancy cute. Like this this is really dressing up for me. If you see me at school, you know that again, like I wear pajamas to school every day. But I'm really gonna try to up my game this year, you guys. So catch me wearing this. Actually, this might be my first day of school look. I don't know. So the final store I went to was Garage. So the first thing I got at Garage was this green t-shirt. It's similar to the Slice of Life white t-shirt I got at Macy's. But like it's it's army green and it is so cute so so freaking soft and it it also looks like a crop top but like it's it doesn't look like a crop top for me next thing i got was this pair of blue skinny jeans um i needed skinny jeans for the longest time so the thing with me is i have like this i don't know if this is tmi but like i'm gonna say it anyway so i have like bigger thighs like like proportional to my body like I'm a small person but, like my thighs are like a little bit bigger than proportion and then my waist is skinny so like it's really really hard to find a good pair of jeans that fit right and that are comfy and they these jeans are super super comfy and they are skinny they have like this is what the bottoms look like pretty cute yeah I don't know if this is focused I don't know how this camera works I don't know I haven't had a good pair of actual denim jeans in it it has to be since middle school, so like three years. And the last and final product of this whole entire haul video, whatever it is, are light blue mom jeans. Now, I've wanted mom jeans for literally so long. They are so comfy, they're so stylish too. I'm really excited to wear these all the time because I definitely will. Okay, that concludes this haul back to school shopping video um i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching please like please subscribe to me um show your support i don't know comment if you want um but yeah my next video i think is also gonna be school related so stay tuned and i will see you in the next video